everybody, and today we are heading to Minden, Louisiana, uh, and or kind of like Shreveport, Shreveport area, to the 318 Food Co. Food Truck, and or I guess they're in the process of changing the name to Pizza Co. 318 Pizza Co. So this is a pizza, a like brick oven fired pizza food truck. So super unique, super cool. And we are going to do their, I believe it's the 10 Pizza Challenge. So it's like 10 pizzas of their like personal sized pizzas in 20 minutes. So it's not a long time at all, uh, but it sounds super good. They have a large variety of different pizzas. Um, one including brisket, I love brisket. And it is just like, this place is like super well known for these delicious pizzas. So I like a brick oven or brick oven wood fired pizza, all that good stuff. Nice thin crust, you know it's my jam. So let's go eat some food, should have fun. If we do, we get the meal for free, we also get a t-shirt. And if not, we gotta pay for all the pizza. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. Also really neat about this food truck is, it's the only food truck I've ever heard of that actually ships their pizzas. So like nationwide, globally, you can order these wood fired or brick fired pizzas. So that's pretty cool. So let's go eat some food and have some fun. And it's gonna be a hard challenge. A lot of pizza and not a lot of time. So yeah, Minden Tree Park. All right, everyone, so here we are with all the pizzas. So we have 11 pizzas. Each looks absolutely delicious. We not only have their whole menu, plus a couple new additions which are coming. So yeah, seriously, some of the coolest pizzas I've ever seen coming out of a food truck, like seriously. But anyway, yeah, so the complete pizza menu all right here, including the Maui, the Cowboy, the Margarita, the Godfather, the uh, Chicken Spinach Alfredo, the Rodeo, the American, anyway, just like, it's delicious. So that's a lot of pizza, it's a lot of food, but it looks really good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get started here just momentarily. All right, everybody, so here we go. Uh, we only have 20 minutes to eat all these pizzas, so this might be a bit of a, might be a bit of a gamble, but it should be fun. So really cool, I, I like being here just kind of on the road, it's pretty unique. Raina, ready to get started? Yes. So we're ready, restaurant's ready. We should say food truck, I guess, more specifically. So, uh, well, cheers, Raina. Want to yeah. count us down? Yeah. I'll start with the, uh, got a Maui here. This looks really good. All right, well. Cheers. Let's start. So we count of five, four, okay. three, three, two, one. Two, Let's okay. eat. Mm. Oh, yeah. Pineapple. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sauce is fantastic. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at 318 Food Co. and or Pizza Co. in Minden, Louisiana. So basically just outside of Shreveport, it's like 20 minutes away. Um, so yeah, and the food truck actually features itself in Shreveport and in Minden. So super cool, it is a pizza focused food truck serving brick oven pizza, which is again super unique out of a food truck. I've never seen brick oven pizza out of a food truck before. Um, and all they were very, very delicious. Um, they had a number of different uh, set pizzas and of course you can make your own. So I thought there was only 10 pizzas in this challenge, but it was actually 11. We're just eating a stack at a time. <laughs> That's all right. I like it. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing that's how I eat. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Maui sandwich. Dip it in that red sauce. Glory. But with all those pizzas came a whole lot of absolute deliciousness. Um, so me and Raina each had 11 pizzas. Um, and again, only 20 minutes. So it's a lot of food in only 20 minutes. Um, of course, we're outside. It is a food truck. So it was kind of a fun experience. I've never done a food truck challenge before this one. So yeah, it was definitely a little cool and endeavor. This chicken and barbecue pizza, fire. Of course, being outside, you're kind of, you know, let's say at the will of the weather and you're subject to whatever kind of throws your way. Um, whether that be dimming because it's an evening, whether it be rain, whether it be road noise. So you may get a little bit of all that or at least some of it here and there. They had a number of different kinds of pizzas. Uh, some of the notable ones for myself, very memorable. They had the American, which is like a cheeseburger pizza. 
They had the Maui, which was basically kind of like a Hawaiian, but it was very, very, very nice. Really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not always a huge pineapple on pizza person, but this went exceptionally well. They also had the Cowboy, which had a brisket. Yes, you know, you, like everybody knows I love brisket and I love barbecue. So I had to have both those things, barbecue beef, basically a smoked beef specifically on a pizza. I mean, I like it in every which way and form. It could just be plain. It could be served on pretty much anything. I, you know, I'd even take beef brisket and noodles and everybody knows how I feel about noodles. Um, anything to do with that beef. I'm a big fan of beef. Let's just say I eat animals and I'm not not ashamed of it. I created kind of a pizza for my, one of mine, which I think they basically maybe kept and called the Smoky Joe. It's basically all the meats, and hey, that's just like my jam. How's that brisket, bro? Did you eat it yet? I've been saving it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So I actually had a couple of the uh, barbecued ones, the Cowboys, I had two of them, plus the Smoky Joe. So I, uh, although I was trying to save one at least till the end, or save them towards the end, um, I actually had one here just momentarily. Right now I was eating the American, and then I turn into the one of the uh, the Cowboys, which also has some jalapenos on it, so it's pretty cool. It's like barbecue, got spicy, so sweet, spicy, savory with that meat. Pretty dang cool. Um, again, as mentioned, only food truck I've ever heard that also sells and ships food inter like, or like nationally across the states. So that's definitely very unique. So, I mean, if you ever want to try one of these pizzas, you can literally hop on their website, give them an order. So, again, pretty dang cool. That's very unique. Um, so, yeah, a very unique spot, but very, very gracious people. They're very um, welcoming for us. Um, couldn't ask for much of a better experience. So I think that's pretty much all the information, guys. Again, we only have 20 minutes to complete this challenge. Um, I, that I wish us luck, really. That's about it. We're definitely going to need it. It's a short time limit. And, uh, well, let's get to the rest of the video. You got 11 minutes left. 11 minutes? Yeah. We just got about four-ish pizzas left. Ranger says a little more crust, but a little less pizza. You better crank her to get her down. Ryan In. We got six minutes left. We're both doing really well. I'm just down to about a pizza. Rain just has crushed. Good luck. Well. Got a minute. 
minute left. She's doing good. Cutting it close. What do you think? Is it a win if it's in her mouth or does she have to swallow it? Yeah. If it's in her mouth, I'll say she won. If it's in her mouth? Okay. Alright, show me this. We yeah, actually gave her that extra mouth. She had an 11 piece. She had 11 piece. 15 seconds. So she got 15 seconds to get it in her mouth for the win. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Get in there, Anna. Probably five, four. Yeah! Woo! Talk about a photo finish. <laughs> well, they, they said it was in her mouth. So. There you go. So that was called photo finish. Perfect timing. It's starting to get a little dark out here. But seriously, we've had a lovely time here at Minden. Same as in Shreveport. So definitely check out 318 Food Co. and or soon to be named Pizza Co. Uh, either in Minden and or Shreveport because it comes back and forth between the two. Great people, absolutely fantastic. I love their slogan. It says, love God, eat pizza. Hell right. So with that, everybody, till next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay hungry, happy eating. Raina's still chewing, so I won't make her talk. I'll just give her a fist bump. And yeah, seriously delicious pizza. They apparently maybe just made a new one called the Smoky Joe or like, just add all the barbecue meat. The uh, same as the Cowboy is their number one selling one. I can see why. I love the smoked meats, have barbecue sauce on it. Again, the only food truck I've ever heard of that will actually ship food across the country. So, everybody, till next time. And uh, till next time, Louisiana. Thank you for treating us so well. Woo! Woo! Bye, everybody. The heat off, and they're fantastic. Uh, since here we have their frozen pizzas, so you can order these from all over the nation. So, it's pre cooked. They said it really maintains that crispy, that kind of uh, brick fired, that oven flavor. That's that cowboy that I like so much. 10 minutes in the oven, there you go. So, hell right, 318 Pizza Co. Take and bake, order them all over the place. That, there's a big old woofer squirrel thing down here in Shreveport, Louisiana. I don't know if all of them are that big and wide and don't move, but it's a pretty interesting squirrel. Good morning, everybody. Today we're here in Shreveport, Louisiana to see this the stuff. So we're just looking around downtown. It's pretty cool. Looks like there's lots of art and stuff. Oh, no, you can't really see me. Hold on, there you go, maybe. A little bit light. Anyway, yeah, so uh, we'll show you around. It's really cool. We got some all kinds of stuff and art and street park. Louisiana, northern Louisiana. Here's a big old green space of some sort. Looks pretty cool. Benches and rocks and stuff. A big building right there. Looks like it probably used to be a church. I don't think it is now. At least it's not active, at least right now. And then this was quite the wall. Has quite the uh, graffiti, different pictures on it for sure. The big string of clouds, which is very interesting. Yeah, Asian looking clouds, Cordon Arena. Not my own. And here we have a Shreveport historic site, the Benai Zion Temple. It's very, very pretty. I mean, the architecture is astounding. It's apparently designed by a guy named Edward Neald and Clarence Oshler. Uh, the interior design work was done by Peter Herwagen, built in 1914. Um, this house, the Zion Synagogue, uh, which was founded in 1859, and then from 1950 to 1956, it was actually in use, and there were stained glass windows and stuff. And uh, it's definitely very beautiful. I mean, quite the architecture. 
I like I want to say it would be marble, but it's a little like I don't know. It's a little. It's not marble. I don't know what it is, but some kind of cool looking rock. That would be probably marble. Those things. And looks like it's well boarded up and probably hasn't been used or you know in years. Probably structural issues with that pillar looking there, but pretty dang cool. Here we have the Scottish Rite Cathedral, which, again, a very impressive and beautiful looking building. Uh, definitely, like, very similar to that Zion Temple place with the architecture, but this one is definitely still in function, still not abandoned, and, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Downtown Shreveport. And elsewhere. Here we have some big other building. Again, I would say not in use and or quite abandoned, but definitely some pretty, uh, like, you know, you can tell it was, it was an old building and has like some of these really nice, previously what would have been really nice architecture pieces and obviously it was some kind of building at some point. Here we have a cool building. It's like a theater. It's called the Strand Theater. So it's pretty cool. I like it. And so this theater is also a historic site built in 1925 for Stanger Etrich Theater Enterprises, designed by blank, 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 uh, of New Orleans. Uh, interior design, blank, 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 uh, of Arkansas. It was a flagship theater for amusement. It was listed as a national historic site in 1977. And then it became the official theater of Louisiana in 1980. That's pretty cool. And in another part of downtown Shreveport, we have um, this big bridge and we have a number of different casinos along the water. And here we have their called outlet malls or like outlet malls on the boardwalk. So this is all shopping all along here, you know, obviously right by the water. It's very pretty actually down here. Really cool setup. Got a couple old bridges. That's a train bridge. This is a, a car bridge, which apparently you can walk along because I see some people up there. So yeah, that's pretty dang cool. Very beautiful here today. <laughs> 